Ice Stride into Chain Ranker Dragon. Use the scale to flip a card. Copy the heart skills. Huh. Raging Rap Dragon? Another one? A third one? What happened? Reality is warping. What's up, amigos? We got some exciting news. We got Jewel Knights, Revenger specifically, Raging Form, and Musketeers. So let's get right into it. Check out Dueling Guard's deck boxes, playmats, and binders, the great quality products that are anime based. They continually have more anime options becoming available. Use the affiliated link in the description for a 5% discount on your next purchase. So nobody was expecting this whatsoever. <laughs> it looks like we're getting three deck sets that are specifically for, for premium. And I think this is a great opportunity for veterans, but also newer players to see a revamped version of these deck sets. They have already declared that there will be some errata updates too, which I'll cover shortly. So with the news that they gave us, for sure we're getting the triggers. So this is like for Royal Paladin, we'll get the crit. That is a stride fodder. Also the one that's a GB1 into Saul. An OT for that nation, the grade three heal, which is very useful. And then of course, PG draws as well. So a lot of these triggers are the effect triggers that each clan needs to play in premium. And it's cool to have these right out of the box, especially if you don't have these clans support already. For the most part, these decks will be already equipped with these types of triggers anyway. The only one that would stand out would be potentially Musketeers because they have that one crit that can counter charge when it's called by a Musketeer uh, and it counter charges too. <laughs> so that's the one that I would say that hopefully gets a reprint as well because it's a very old card as well. Now, it's worth pointing out that two of the clans that are here are Keter Sanctuary. The other one is Stokea. So you'll be getting the Keter OT for Royals and Shadows, which more than likely might not be played. There's instances of the blue OT and red T OT. So I highly recommend having those just in case if you haven't had any yet. You could also proxy test too if you want to to see if it even makes sense to get those OTs. If not, you can not play an OT and then fall back to an Ultima in case you do have access to an Ultima as well. But the biggest piece of news is that we're seeing old school strides, essentially stride versions of the great threes that we saw in the cover, getting errata updates. And that's really cool too. And so we get to see Salome's, Evangeline specifically, Raging Wrapped, and then of course, Virginal Cecilia. And these cards showed up in G era and they didn't really necessarily make an impact. It was an attempt, I think, just to bring those old school limit break decks back into G era. And we saw a little bit of here and there, but it mostly was still generation break decks. And then, of course, other decks that were just abusable, like 7C's Grade 1 Rush or like Friendware Wiseman Loop and, and so on in those days. But I'm really hoping they revamp them with skills that are actually applicable in today's age for premium. As we have noticed, we got History Collection this past year and it changed the whole metagame completely. Uh, the fact that you could generate markers, the fact that you can stride into regardless of your opponent's grade, that was very powerful, very useful in in most decks, to be honest. And how can these three decks also compete with that? And so I'm hoping that there's some type of like skill that is either cheaper to do or potentially just better. Like for example, we see Evangeline's skill. It essentially just gives each of your Jewel Knights 3K for each face up card or copy of this card essentially, which is pretty underwhelming, especially if that's the only thing that it does. We have History Collection Arise that give you two Force Markers, which <laughs> essentially do the same thing, but much more significantly useful especially moving forward because force markers tend to say raging rep is the one that i have expressed recently in my raging form video that it is over costed and as you can see you need limit break four counter blast soul blast you need to discard two great threes that are abyss dragon specifically and also retire two rear guards on top of that to stride another version of raging rap essentially having another vanguard attack but you have to do the same thing with like these limitations and so you play cards like limit break enablers and it's just like not the greatest card essentially you have chain ranker you have crystal luster and these clans that are just like significantly better when they copy the heart especially with their v series retrains which are force gifts essentially which are really you know best for your buck at that point too if you're trying to make an impact for that turn essentially and also including virginal cecilia you can deck down a bit also superior call but also beef up your field by 3k for each musketeer face up in your g zone Again, the scaling power just doesn't match with today's force markers, especially if you play the Cecilia reverse build. 
that generates easily two to three force markers on first stride, especially if you pair it off with a Katrina turn. Super, mwah, <laughs> you know? So, so really it just begs the question, like what do they have to do really to help revamp this? And so this is where kind of like my speculation or my hopes and wishes, you guys can express your opinions on, on what you hope for as well in the comments below. But essentially one, make the skills like costless if possible, especially Raging Rap Dragon, that's a notoriously over cost at scale. Also, if there's a way to generate markers to, or at least a marker to help compete with the other history collection decks, that would be great. For example, if you're playing Royal Paladin, you can have the alt mile go into the, the Gallblade essentially, and you get two force markers. So in a Jewel Knight deck, you're already playing the Jewel Knight V series support and relying on Crystal Luster. So if there's something that makes you play the old school Salome, I would hope that the synergy makes it like just as impactful or it provides a different support. And so what do I mean by that? And so if we look at the old school grade threes, this is like BT10 support. So it's definitely outdated. You can see limit break four and it doesn't do much on its own. If some people were speculation that even the grade threes will potentially get errata too. And what would be really cool is that also have like the same stipulation where the strides can stride onto these, regardless of your opponent's grade, kind of like a history collection type of deal. And you can generate maybe a marker or two. It just depends on how they want to go in this direction, but it needs to keep up with today's standards, essentially. This could be another alternative just to have in the package as a package, essentially in your deck build, if you're playing Junites already in this metagame, for example. There's other benefits or routes you can go. You can go into more of a stride break generation type of skill. So if you stride on this, you get some type of effect that's really good. Or it could be a totally revamped skill too, included on top of that, like a GB2 skill or something that's reworked but you can make strides like Crystal Luster and Chain Ranker even like more useful because if the hard skill is actually pretty good, you could also have that option of striding that later with the GB3 guard restriction that those cards have and make a very strong turn still as well. Revisiting the old school Raging Form, as you can see, it's Limit Break 4, which forced you to play Limit Break 4 enablers. And so if they can just remove that and be able to rely on Raging Rap, that's fine too. I hope we just can get rid of that limit break for <laughs> stuff. Uh, I think today's premium game has already gotten to the point where that has sped up along so quickly, especially if we're already playing cards like the Great The Heals to guard efficiently early game. We have Honolies, for example, too. We have Rolox still here and there. Just cards that we already play to deal with other aggressive decks that can make a very early game very aggressive, essentially. And then lastly, the, the old school Cecilia card. Again, limit break four. And this is BTOA, so Blue Storm Armada, baby, uh, for those who are fans for Maelstrom. And it, it doesn't really do much. It just calls other copies of itself. And you could also call something by retiring something. So you're really not necessarily plusing it, it being worth the skill. So I would hope they have some kind of like where you could just stride regardless of grade, but also have some type of break stride or maybe some other skill that just completely better that helps synergize with those erratas too. And that's really all the news that they give us. And a lot of this is speculation right now. Again, this is just my opinions and thoughts and hopes. Essentially, if you guys have other ideas that would be really cool for these decks to really keep up with the metagame or just have fun with these decks while still playing against other history collection type decks, feel free to express your thoughts in the comments. I will say this. I think it's really cool that they're coming out with these specific premium like deck sets that you can just buy. And it has pretty much most of the cards, if not all the cards that you need from that deck as well, kind of like a structured deck and maybe pick up a few. But one of the biggest things that I really is a maybe out of reach, but essentially I would hope for like the perfect reprint, especially for the Shadow and Royals, is just a reprint Crystal Luster and Chain Ranker as commons at this point. These cards are already expensive. And let me show you real quickly what I mean. And so you can see Crystal Luster Dragon at 67 on TCG. This is for the United States. Um, we only have like three cards in the market. And especially if we need to see more deck support of the, the new Salom support that's coming out for these deck sets. I feel like these are good just to have in case. Especially if you're a person that hasn't invested into the clan yet already too. You really have nothing to work with. If you're already a Royal Paladin or a Shadow Paladin, you know, main you more than likely do have these cards already. So you're pretty much good to go. But for those players that would like to try these new clans in premium for themselves, uh, this would be very good if they did it for like a reprint as a common. And Chain Ranker is not as bad, but it's still like $33 and more than likely you'll need two. And there's only few, but there's more than compared to Crystal Luster. But I think Crystal Luster is the one that needs to really have the reprint for sure. But just having these as commons will help a lot. I think if we give them like triple R rarity, uh, it could also like 
skew the decks in a sense where people are just buying them just for these reprint reprints instead of like the actual like raging or the joel knight support essentially that people want to play those actual decks it, we don't want to run into a situation where it's like sanctitude and sanctitude was also like at one copy per starter deck essentially when those came out months ago so i would hope they would do at least two copies if they're very generous then they do more but as we saw with knight rolls and harry deck set as well they only gave us like a pair of cards at most, if not one copy at that point. So that's kind of like where my ideas, my speculation when it comes to like possible reprints, especially with these phenomenal strides. The other stride that comes to mind, especially for Musketeer, since it's Neo Nectar technically, is Katrina. And as we can see, if you don't have any Katrinas, you're kind of out of luck, especially since there's only two left in the market. Uh, we have a market price of 18 and then the median price right now that's listed is 69, which is you know, too much <laughs> if you're just trying to buy. I mean, this costs more than the deck itself, right? And so that says a lot at that point. But I hope that could be an also possible reprint of Katrina as well as a common too. So that will be more Katrinas in the market, especially since it came off the ban list earlier this year too, which every Neo Nectar deck literally needs Katrina or can play Katrina and, and abuse it with all the tokens and the power and calling from deck any card from the battle phase during the battle phase too like it's just phenomenal card essentially but i am overall excited for this as well i was not expecting this at all i actually recently did a raging form deck profile so if you're interested in actually learning more about how it looks in premium go check that out literally did it last week <laughs> so it's really up to date but the fact that we got news that i can also modify it more with potential support that's useful too that'd be great i also play musketeers too so i could also revisit cecilia reverse in premium and hopefully it could be something that's a nice addition to already the Katrina Reliance that we already have in the Neo Nectar decks as well. You could also check out my Musketeer Cecilia Reverse deck profile too for premium that I did months ago too. That's pretty much up to date as well. Again, let me know your thoughts, guys. I'm very excited for this and I'm hoping to hear news soon and then we can cover it and then also like start playtesting and proxying. If you want to proxy cards once FX comes out, you could also check out how to make proxies video too if you're into that as well, just to help out as another resource. And if you want to support the channel, use the affiliate links down below, 50 card shop, trading card mint, card trader zero, TCG player. And I also offer a one-on-one -on -one coaching just to help improve your abilities or even prep for BCS events. Just happy to help out where I can. Until the next one, amigos. Bye.